What's up guys, short video here. As you can see, we are with my Amiga 1200 with the Warp 1260 card. I just uploaded it to firmware version 1.200 and it was back in on 1.008, the one that I had. I have had this card for, I don't know, about two years. It runs perfect, I have made so many videos with it, no crash, no nothing. It, it just works, okay? And it runs at 105 megahertz. So beautiful car. I just updated. With this update, it says that the onboard micro SD card will be. Oh, I'm so sorry about that on the screen. Sorry, guys. The micro SD card will be working now, proper way. The USB connector will be working now. Not stuff that I use, but up, up top here. I had 128 megabytes of fast RAM. Yeah, there we go. I had 128 fast RAM and 128 for the um, graphic card. With this firmware update, it will give me, as you can see, it says 214 megabytes of fast RAM and 32 for the graphic card. Great stuff. So in this video, I just want to tell you how to update your warp card when you get it or when you have it. It's so simple guys, it's so well done. So you go into amigawarp.eu, you download the files on a compact flash card that is FAT32 formatted compact flash card. You make a directory that's called underscore underscore. Remember to put two underscore and then CS lab. In there you put in your uh, Amiga 1200 or Amiga 500 warp card files and after that you just plug this one in the you just plug the USB in the USB port and you just power down and it will cycle through one two minutes and that's about it you do nothing man as I always said as I always love it's just plug and play so you just Put the files in here, put it in here, and the Amiga 1200 will do the rest. It's just pure magic, pure awesomeness. So, when the computer is upgraded, the firmware is upgraded, you will find something easier to listen to than this super nice rave music. No. Yeah, you will listen to this in the background. Beautiful stuff. And now we have got version 1.200. Again, FAT32 formatted, right? Now, I have a few files inside of this one. Um, after doing this, this warp diagnostic um, program was the first version <laughs> that I got two years back. So what you have to do is actually, uh, other than that, when you download the file, you will get some extra stuff on that download. And that will be something called, I just transferred them on the floppy drive because I had issue with that diagnostics, with the old version. So just put in a disk here and choose DF0. And then, DF0, and then you will have something called Amiga software that was also included on the download. And let the disk load here. And you will get new updated files like Warp Tool. You just copy that to C. You can see C CS Warp, uh, Warp DX. This is new version. After installing that with the newest firmware everything programs it, it just it just works and lips you will you know here warp library for the picasso card but the most important is this storage and i want to share this with you guys at storage we have got two drivers 
one that says WSD. That's for the micro SD card inside the warp card and WUSB. Okay, I copied them over. Now we are going to see magic now. Again, nothing that I'm gonna use, but for others, this, this, this could be a nice upgrade. We're running. Yeah. All right. Hardware version one, firmware 1 1.2. 6806, revision six, 105 megahertz, 32 degrees. Beautiful stuff, okay. The, um, the fan is on 100%. I, I, want, I want that to just go at 100%. But look down here, USB 1, no device. USB 2, no device. I have not installed anything. Now, FAT formatted, uh, FAT32, I'm gonna install. Look, look at here, no device, okay. I'm just gonna find where the, it's not there, it's here. I just installed. USB and it reads look at this mass storage so now it detects my USB pin that's FAT32 formatted with few Amiga files on it now it won't pop up here because we have to activate it okay yeah what we're going to do is we're going to system we're gonna enter storage this is the first time I'm trying this, guys. And that empty, that's my floppy. That's my floppy disk. <laughs> um, and then you go into DOS drives. As you can see, we have got PC0, PC1, CD0, RAD, AUX. Here, WSD, that's for the micro SD card, and WUSB, it's for the plugged in USB here. <sighs> it's the driver for this mass storage USB, okay? So what you're going to do is you're going to double click here and look here guys. Double click. Device USB is already mounted. Uh, shouldn't it pop up here? Oh. Where is it? Not here, not here. Okay, out of my knowledge, uh, we should have, you know, a USB pin now, but I haven't uh, researched it. I'm sure I made something wrong. But the thing is, this is how you update your warp card. And uh, it's so great that we're still getting new updates, new stuff. I'm gonna look, look into it. I'm sure I just missed something somewhere. Uh, and I, when I found out how to uh, address the USB, that will just uh, make another video. But yeah, I just wanna say, this is how you update. And it's so simple, it's so nice and uh, great stuff, man. A lot of uh, fast RAM now, over 200 megabytes of fast RAM. That's great stuff, man. So I just wanna share you this little update video. Wish you all a great day out there, guys. I'll see you on the next video. Bye.